Hey guys, welcome to Management Matters, Paragon Intel's weekly management update on everything that happened in the world of management that matters to you. You have our CEO, Ty Popowell, and myself, Colby Howard. Thanks for joining us. First management track research this week. Bill Campbell and I hosted a webinar with our best long ideas. They included eBay on semiconductor and my personal favorite, Solar Winds, all external CEO changes. Link to the replay is in the notes. Feel free to hop on if you're a client on management track or with the replay if you're not a client. Uh, second thing, ACVA auctions. That work came off embargo this week, and we will actually be having a webinar next week to discuss our results of the deep dive we did on found, the founder and CEO there and the controversy surrounding bidding allegations. Colby, what do we see on management track as far as appearances? Absolutely. Uh, we'll start with the podcast side. Again, it's all about executives that are showing up and really under the radar podcasts. First off, five nine CEO Rowan Trollope. Obviously, his deal with Zoom cratered. He went on Making Markets, which is a podcast I've never heard of. That And he went on to talk about why that deal fell apart and what the future of his company looks like. Spoiler alert, he declined to talk about what a future deal with Zoom could look like <laughs> or a deal with other people. Under Armour CEO Patrick Frisk went on Leading with James Ashton, which is a podcast, again, that's a little more under the radar, and really interesting timing giving the SEC violations that came to light about 2017. Again, he wasn't around, but tough to be a leader dealing with those right now. He talks about his fast past experiences at Aldo, Timberland, and North Face. Now, really nerding out. You've got CNH Industrial CEO Scott Wine going on a podcast called Real Agriculture, and they go deep into autonomous farming. They go into using chips. They go into uh, the supply chain issues when he thinks those are going to start easing up. Fascinating conversation if this is something that is in your universe. And then, Colby, let's not forget the PR tours, if you will. Michael Dell yes. appeared on any podcast that would have him this week as he's launching and promoting a new book. Um, we also saw, you know, shocker, Kathy Wood talking about technology and deflation. And another shocker, Ray Dalio, talking about a new world order um, and, and also, you know, changing capitalism for the better. What did we see in, in uh, videos this week, Colby? Yeah, Ted Sarando, Sarando, sorry, was at the Recode conference, and Kara Swisher fancies herself a very tough interviewer. Um, Hour-long conversation, Q&A with the audience as well. Really good conversation, showing some never-before-seen viewership data. This was right before Squid Game got released, so probably different now, but really interesting conversation. Definitely something worth looking into. And then actually at the Skift Global Forum, you had both booking CEO Glenn Fogel and Airbnb CEO Brian Chesky talking one after the other. The moderator for the Glenn Fogel conversation was in a good way obnoxious and really got a rise out of Glenn Fogel. That is one worth watching if you want some insight into how he's viewing the future of short-term rentals especially. And if you want to know how energy CEOs or former CEOs in this case really feel about what's going on with the energy crisis, Harold Hamm, chairman and founder of Continental Resources, appeared on CNBC, talked about supply demand, underinvestment in government policy. But what he was really there to do is to call it a man-made pro uh, man problem and end his interview with the words, come on, Joe. Hmm. Lastly, executives on the move. Uh, there's a new CEO search underway at Citrix on behalf of Elliot, who appears to have forced out David Henschel. We do expect them to go external with their new hire, and we will cover it, uh, assuming it is external here at Paragon Intel within Management Track Research. And with that, that is the Management Matters uh, weekly update, and thank you for joining.